Sam is making blueberry pie for a math club fundraiser. He pours all the blueberries he needs into a bowl for later. Bye. I'm going to my math meeting. Look at all these blueberries. They're mine. Hey, where are all my blueberries? I saw that half of them disappeared every two hours. Well, now I need to buy more blueberries, but how do I know how many I need? Sam checks the recipe to find out how many blueberries he needs to buy, but he realizes the recipe is smudged. How will he find out how many berries he needs now? How will I do this? Well, you could do this by making an equation. In order to solve using an equation, first, you would see how many hours from 7 p.m. to 9 a.m. you have. You have 10 hours, which means you would divide that by 2 to see how many sets of 2 hours you have. There are 5 sets, which means you started with 5 blueberries, then multiply that by 2 5 times. So 5 times 2 would be 10, times 2 would be 20, times 2, 40, times 2, 80, times 2, 160. So you would start with 160 blueberries. That's too complicated. Could you also do it by drawing a picture? Yes. First, you would draw five blueberries and write 7 p.m. on the bottom. Then, you would double them and have 10 blueberries at 5 p.m. since you're going two hours back in time. Then, 20 blueberries at 3 p.m., 40 blueberries at 1 p.m., 80 blueberries at 11 a.m., and 160 blueberries at 9 a.m., which would be your answer. Oh, I get it now. Couldn't you also graph it? Starting at 7 p.m., you would have 5 blueberries. At 5 p.m., you'd have 10. 3 p.m., you'd have 20. 1 p.m., you'd have 40. 11 a.m., you'd have 80. And 9 a.m., you'd have 160. So as you can see on the graph, if you work backwards, you know how many blueberries you started with. But how do you know you're right? The snake is right, though. How do we know? To check work, we have to start at 9 a.m. and work backwards. At 9 a.m., we had 160 blueberries. At 11, we'd have 80. At 1 p.m., we'd have 40. At 3 p.m., we'd have 20. And at 5 p.m., we'd have 10. And finally, at 7 p.m., we'd have 5. This is how we So now we know for certain. You need 160 blueberries for your pie. So now, all I have to do is buy more blueberries.